Welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over the SolidCAD desktop for SigmaNest. The SolidCAD desktop allows users to quickly make adjustments to how you import parts. The desktop will show us the part list and tree view of those parts as well. So let's go through the SolidCAD desktop from the beginning. The first thing we need to do is to import our 3D parts or assemblies into SigmaNest. At the import window, there are a few options we need to be aware of, mainly the mapping system. No mapping will import the parts straight into SigmaNest without applying any kind of filter system. This means if you have parts like bolts, casters, or anything that can't be cut on a piece of sheet metal, those parts will be imported into SigmaNest. The interactive mapping option will bring up the SolidCAD desktop, and desktop mapping will automatically filter out parts based on the desktop filter you choose. So let's go ahead and choose interactive mapping and click import. Under the general tab, you have some importing options we can choose from. The advanced tab comes with some flexibility as to what gets imported and how. The keyword filter system allows us to automatically filter out parts. This means less processing time for SigmaNest. For example, the assembly I have here in SolidWorks has some bolts in the assembly. I can create a desktop filter for this bolt to be filtered out automatically. Enable the keyword filter and either include or exclude the part. I can filter out by keywords, file names, titles, authors, subjects, and even comments. Keep in mind though, these fields will need to be populated in your 3D CAD system if you're going to use it. For this assembly, I will use the file name system. For the value, I will enter hex and add an asterisk to represent a wildcard scenario, so anything with the word hex in it will automatically be filtered out. If you need to add more filters, use a comma to separate the filters. If you have features you want to suppress or unsuppress during the import, you can enable that here. The materials filter will allow you to filter specific materials that may or may not be suitable for the current job. The far side recognition will allow your parts to be configured correctly either on the near side of the sheet or on the far side of the sheet if applicable. If you have beveled parts, make sure you turn on beveled recognition. The process mapping field will allow users with multiple sketches assign different parameters to the sketch. For instance, if this part did have markings on it, but it was configured on a separate sketch, I can put the name of the sketch in the sketch name field so it gets imported correctly. You can also assign the wildcard attribute here if need be. Right click in the other fields to choose your desired options. We also have a separate SolidWorks tab with settings that can be configured. We will touch on that in a different video. Now the assembly is ready to be imported into SigmaNest. Before we proceed, let's save our settings for future use. Applying the filters allows us to quickly see how our changes affected the parts list. If you wish to create a work order number for this assembly, you can do so here. Click OK when finished. If you did apply a work order number, make sure you save the parts to your parts list to create the work order. And that's all there is to it. 